Welcome back. Well, many Australians have had to face the reality they might never be able to afford their own home. But now could be the perfect time to buy, with a surprising number of suburbs in the capital cities now cheaper to buy than rent. Finance expert Tim Guest is here with us now with all of the details on this. Tim, good morning to you. All right, let's start in Brisbane. Where is it cheaper to perhaps rent than buy? Look, some great opportunities in Brisbane. Uh, Brisbane actually sits at number three in terms of how we expect capital cities to perform over 2019. So probably the pick of the bunch would be Newstead. So we're talking directly on the river, right next to Fortitude Valley in the city there. Mm. Up and coming nightlife. Uh, so really great opportunity, especially if you can get in there and it's going to be cheaper for you to buy a house rather to rent in there. As well as Rockley, we're talking 9 k's to the south of Brisbane. Got a train station and the local Rockley markets as well. And, um, and uh, we, in terms of these figures, we're basing this on people putting a 20% deposit in and then paying off the remainder of the mortgage okay. as compared to the median rent in the suburb there. OK, let's move to Adelaide. Yes. Where, where there is it ideal to buy as opposed to rent? Yes, yeah, so Adelaide actually uh, equals Brisbane in terms of the kind of performance that we're expecting to get for 2019. So it's kind of... Adelaide's... A, it's a lot stronger than it's given credit for in terms of the capital cities. Vacancies are sitting at approximately 1% there, so we're starting to see rents really increase, which is what's providing the great opportunities in Adelaide for people to buy. Uh, I think the pick of the bunch there is Kent Town. So you're talking two kilometres from the, uh, the close. CBD. You you can walk to Rundle Mall. Uh, it's nestled in the desirable eastern suburbs and there's a thriving cafe culture around that area. And, and Kent Town actually provides the largest gap when it comes to the difference between uh, renting and buying. So mm. number one in the country. Uh, a couple other suburbs for Adelaide as well. We've got Woodville North, which is in the northwest, 10 k's from the city. A lot of rejuvenation happening around that area. And it's got the shopping and transport links there as well. And Renown Park, which is in the northeast. Uh, so 5 k's from the CBD there. Lots of development happening. So once again, you don't, you don't really have to go out to these outer suburbs to enable you to, to get a bargain in terms mm. of, of being able to buy a home. There's been quite a lot of volatility in the property market in Perth. What are the suburbs to look for there? Yeah, so Perth um, Perth has probably it's copped it a little bit. So um, uh, the government really got involved with some intervention around lending. So APRA putting restrictions in around investor lending, mm. interest-only loans. Perth was going through its normal downturn, but as it tried to slow the Sydney and Melbourne markets down, it made that... The, the downturn that was happening in Perth a bit deeper and a bit more protracted. But in actual fact, Perth, well, the experts are saying that Perth is going to be the number one city for growth over the coming three years. Wow. Yeah, exactly. So some really good opportunities in Perth. Just quickly, the suburbs there in Perth, Glendalow. Glendalow, Westminster, Nolmara, yep. all 10, 15 k's from the city and the beach. All right, and how does Hobart stack up? Hobart is the number one in the country at the moment. Uh, Goodwood, uh, 7 k's from the north, great family suburb, quiet, uh, on the western bank of the Derwin River, and it's got quiet but really good access to transport links as well. All right, what about Sydney and Melbourne? We know that that's that's where the prices have been really coming down. Yeah, so um, I, it's a lot more difficult to find a place to be able to buy cheaper than it is to rent in Sydney, Melbourne, primarily because of the growth that we've had seen there over the past 10 years. But we've still got Aird's, which is about 50 k's from Sydney, mm -hmm. uh, near Campbelltown there, uh, and Digger's Rest in Melbourne, 33 k's from the city. Uh, in the northwest, quiet area, upgrading the V-line to a metro. So there's still some good opportunities, and I wouldn't worry too much about Sydney and Melbourne. I think it's going to land a lot softer than what people expect. I like your optimism. Mm. Thank Plus you, Tim. Really Very good. welcome. Right. Thank you.